Now, civil society groups are calling on all South Africans to stand up against corruption. On September the 30th, there will be marches in Pretoria and Cape Town. Organizers say they're not political. Urging South Africans to march against corruption. These groups want government to put measures in place to put an end to the scourge. Among their demands is a call for transparent and accountable leadership. Responsibility for the appointment of the Commissioner and Deputy Commissioners of Police and the National Director of Public Prosecutions and his or her deputies should be taken out of the exclusive hands of the President alone and given to a body uh, widely represented and on which civil society is represented as well. Findings of the public protector be regarded as binding and be implemented. Religious leaders are giving their full backing for the march. As a church leader, I want to challenge each one of you to look at yourself and say, how can I, as a responsible citizen of this country, make a difference by joining hands, collaborating with other forces, other organizations to fight this sketch? Otherwise, we have no future for our children. In Cape Town, the Religious Leaders Forum stressed that the march was not against government. We are aware, and we're treading carefully, we, we, we are aware of the political connotations mm. Mm. attached to this march. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not, uh, we are quite mindful mm. of the uh, party political narrow agendas that could easily find their way into this very noble march. Former Kosatu General Secretary Zwedin Zimavave will be among those joining the march. Sibongile Mkani Mbolwini, SABC News.